I think as the personalization loop kicks in and the AI just starts to get to know you better and better, um, I think that will just be really compelling. Um, you know, one thing just from working on social media for a long time is um, there's the stat that I always think is crazy. The, the, the average American, I think, has, I think it's fewer than three friends. Hmm. Three people that they'd consider friends. And, and the average person has demand for meaningfully more. I think yeah. it's like 15 friends or something, right? I, I guess there's probably some point where you're like, all right, I'm just too busy. I can't deal with more people. But, but the average person wants more connectivity a connection than they have. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of questions that people ask of stuff like, okay, is this going to replace kind of in-person connections or real life connections? And my default is that the answer to that is probably no. I think it, 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 it you know, I think that there are all these things that are better about kind of physical connections when you can have them. But the reality is that people just don't have the connection and they feel more alone um, a lot of the time than they would like. So I think that a lot of these things that today there might be a little bit of a stigma around, um, I would guess that over time we will find the vocabulary as a society to be able to articulate why that is valuable and why the people who are doing these things are like why they are rational for doing it and like and how it is adding value for their for their lives but but also i think that the field is very early so um i mean it's I, like i i think you know there are a handful of companies and stuff who are doing virtual therapist and yeah. you know there's like virtual girlfriend type stuff but it's um it's very early 